Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to my channel to do yoga with me daily come to my website where I have a membership with over 300 close to 400 full length classes where we do weekly schedules, seasonal challenges and I have a new upload every week I would love to see you there and to follow my personal videos, chats, live streams, mommy videos, family videos and general lifestyle informational diet videos please come to my second youtube where i'll be sharing more diet and lifestyle related videos i'll post the links below namaste let's begin namaste beautiful yogis today we're doing a beginner power yoga routine let's get started starting at the front of the mat roll the shoulders back hand down opening the chest opening the space between the collarbones. Inhale, pull the belly in and feel how your belly, core muscles, deep core muscles begin to connect, begin to power up. Feel the corset around your body, the natural corset of muscles around your body, connecting, firing up and pulling in. So the TVA, the deep abdominal muscles are pulling both in and you feel that strength around the midsection of your body. Palms of the hands forward, press into all four corners of each foot, lift to the crown of the head, keep the shoulders back and down and feel how powerful this stance is. We're already connecting with the core, we're starting the core work now. Inhale your hands over the head and sit back, chair pose. As you sit back, you're going to tuck the tailbone under slightly. Exhale forward fold. Hands on the shin bones. Inhale, look ahead of you. Pull the belly in, that's again. Abdominal work. Hands on the ground, step back, plank. Drawing the navel in, pressing the heels away from you. Let's lower the knees on the ground and take your first chaturanga. So elbows in, they're gonna hug your rib cage and shoulders forward, elbows over the wrists. Great, lower down onto the ground. Hands by the chest, elbows in. Cobra pose, lengthening the back of the neck. Exhale down, tuck your toes under, press back, downward facing dog. Let's look under the right shoulder and under the left, softening the face muscles, softening the lips, softening the gaze. Inhale the right leg up. And bring your knee into your rib cage. From here, step your foot forward as far forward as you can. Take a few steps and bring your foot all the way to the front of the mat between your hands. Bend your right knee, come up, high lunge. Now here we're going to strengthen the legs by lowering the left knee down and coming up. The right knee is remaining over the right ankle. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. From here, straight back, lower the left hand down onto the ground, take the right arm up, twist. This move is really good for your Digestive organs, it can tone up your digestion and help you remove some unwanted belly fat. All right, from here, turn on to the outer edge of the left foot and bring your right foot in front of you, stepping on the ground, supporting you. Lift your hips high, side plank. This is a beginner modification. When you're done with the beginner version, you can move on with my more intermediate classes. Do this for at least one to three months before you can move on with a little more advanced or intermediate moves. 
but if you persist, if you are persistent, you will get there. All right, both hands on the ground, strong plank, pull the belly in. Really pull the belly in, shoulders over the wrists, just pressing away from you, belly in. Drop the knees on the ground, chaturanga, elbows over the wrists, shoulders forward. Hold here, it's the shoulder strengthening, pose lower down, hands by the chest, elbows in. Lengthen the back of the neck, cobra, extending the tailbone down. From here, take your toes under and press back into downward facing dog, lifting the hips as high as you can. Draw, dropping the heels as much as you can down towards the mat. Take the left leg up. Bring your knee into your chest. Step your foot forward. Take a few steps, help with your hand, put all the way to the front of the mat, come up, straight back, high lunge. So you don't want to hunch up, you want to come up with a straight back. From here, we're going to lower the right knee down, one, two, three, four, five, Straight back, lower down, right hand on the ground, left arm up. Twist here and feel the twist moving deep into your belly. All right, drop the outer edge of the right foot down and bring your left foot in front of you. Side plank, beginner modification. Try not to collapse on your right wrist. Lift energetically. Lifting the hips here, breathe, nice deep inhalations, complete exhalations, great, both hands on the ground, plank, knees on the ground, chaturanga, lower all the way down, come up, lift the chest open, cobra, and take your toes under, downward facing dog. From here, let's glide the shoulders over the wrist plank. If you're a complete, complete beginner, you can bring your knees down and flatten the back so that your butt is not lifting. You're flattening the back and activating the core. Otherwise, hold the plank and give me right knee between the elbows, left knee between the elbows right left pull the belly in right left great from here lower down one more time chaturanga cobra drop the shoulders away from the ear so none of that open lengthen the back of your neck and back to down dog Inhale the right leg up, step the right foot between your hands, drop the back heel down and if you look down, heel to heel alignment, they will be along the same line, bend the right knee and come up, warrior, one, hips facing forward, chest facing forward. Drop the shoulders away from your ears. So there's space around your head and ears. Internally rotating the left hip here so that your hips are facing forward. Pressing that right femur bone, the bone in your thigh, back into the hip socket. From here, bring your hands over the heart open that left hip out so that you're facing the out the side wall step your foot a little wider and take warrior two so arms are parallel to the floor and now the left hip is externally rotating this is a hip opening exercise stretching the hamstrings here and if you're really high here in your pose dip a little deeper drop a little deeper Soften the shoulders, look over your 
fingertips. All right, right elbow over the right leg, over the right knee, side angle, lengthening both sides of the torso. So we are not resting here. We're actually using the core muscles. This is all core moves to lengthen and elongate, to elongate and strengthen. Let's take the left arm, palm facing down, up and over the head. Beautiful, both hands on the inside of the right foot and drop the left knee down to the tailbone under, stretching here, chest open. Look at the horizon. Beautiful, from here, step both knees back, bring both knees back, plank on the knees, chaturanga, lower down, open, cobra, back to down dog. From down dog, coming to plank, shoulders over the wrist, we're going to take the right leg up and bring the right knee to the right elbow, one, two, three, opposite side, left to left elbow, one, two, and three, and knees on the ground, wrist under the shoulders, knees under the hips, arch the back, look up, round the back, look towards your navel, arching, looking up, rounding, Exhaling, inhale, look up, lengthen the back of the neck, exhale. Great, from here, taking the toes under, back to down dog. Big breath in, take the left leg up. Step the left foot between the hands. Help yourself with the move with the hands. And bend the left knee, drop the back heel down, heel to heel alignment. So slightly in on the right side, come up, warrior one. Here we are working on internally, rotating the right hip, activating the inner thigh, stretching the hamstring on the left side, chest open, drop the shoulder blades back into the back, so widen the back, open the chest, breathe. Sink a little deeper, press this femur bone back so that you're working on that hips facing forward. This is really good for you, worth coming back to this class and putting the effort in to align this pose. It will open your hips, stretch your hip flexors, stretch your hamstrings. Great, hands over the heart, open more ear too. Sink a little deeper, externally rotating the right hip now. Lifting the arches of the feet off the floor. Great. Reach ahead of you, lengthening the torso, left and right side lengthening. Left elbow over the left knee, lengthen, don't rest on your elbow. Open the right rib cages, open it up towards the ceiling, rotate it up. Reaching over the head, really feel that length. It's a very slimming for the waistline move. Great. From here, both hands on the ground, drop the back knee down and stretch here. You can adjust this pose by moving your right knee a little further away from you. Beautiful, from here, take your left knee back by your right and come on to all fours. We're going to take a plank one more time, flat on top, 
lower down chaturanga one and come up very good that's your first beginner chaturanga shall we do two more spread your fingers open wrist under the shoulders let's go two come up strong strong belly three beautiful from here sit on your heels bring your hands in front of your arms extended bring the right arm over the left wrap them and reach up opening the back of the shoulders you can even move left to right here beautiful let's change the arms and reach up left over the right back of the shoulders opening and stretching gorgeous From here, open your heels by the hips and sit back. Now, if you can sit back here, you can sit on a few books or on a yoga block. If that's putting too much pressure on your knees, you can sit propped up or sit here and just feel the stretch here through your quadriceps. This is great for your knees as long as there's no pain. beautiful from here hands in front of you come to all fours and press back into a yogic squat so feet are opening out and we're sitting here now you can be supported here with your hands on the ground working on lowering the heels down and opening the knees out if you can bring your hands in prayer do so this is really relieving for your lower back if you have lower back pain this can be very therapeutic and part of solving the the mystery and the issue with the lower back pain because this is freeing the lower back opening the hips opening the inner thighs and readjusting what could be wrong there with with the alignment great let's straighten the legs and come into a forward bend with the knees slightly bent forward bend hands behind you clasping and pressing away from you hands are pressing away from you and away from your back softening the shoulders let's draw a few circles with the eyes close your eyes and just draw a few circles with your eyes and then change direction beautiful we're going to lower down onto the ground Come into a seated pose, grab your shin bones and sit back with your back straight and chest open. Today my neighborhood is very noisy, but I hope it doesn't bother you. There's piano and construction and traffic and, and I live in the hills. You wouldn't think so. All right, from here, pull the belly in, reach ahead of you. Press the palms of your hands together, reach to one side, back to center, the other side, back to center. Is your back completely straight with the curvature there? You might just be struggling to hold here. That's a lot of work, chest open, just to maintain the proper alignment of this. One side, the other. One, two, three, chest open, four, five, from here, round your back, grab your shin bone, lower down all the way onto the ground. Bring one knee into your chest, bring the other knee into your chest. Right knee into the chest, supine twist. Bringing the knee across from your body, right shoulder on the ground, left knee across. and coming out of this opposite side left shoulder down bring it across if you hear a crack that's a good thing and coming out of this step your feet down and we're going to bring the hands the elbows by the ribcage 
feet parallel to each other, lift up for bridge pose. That's a mini back bend and it's also stimulating for the thyroid so you can balance the thyroid if it's over or under active. Bringing the chest into the chin and the mild compression of the throat can stimulate the thyroid. It's a very therapeutic pose, I use it quite often when I need it. You can lift your toes off the floor, knees are over the ankles. Beautiful. Roll onto your side, right side, extend the right arm in front of you and we're going to bring the knees to the elbow coming off the floor. So the shoulders are coming off the floor and the knees. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and changing sides. One, two, three, really lift, four, contract, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold, release, lay back down, let's bring the right knee into the chest, Grab your right foot with your left hand and bring your foot in towards you, stretching the hip, right hip is stretching here, flex your right foot, press the knee away from you, foot towards you, hold here for three breaths. changing sides grab your foot with your right hand flex your foot press the knee away from your foot in towards you and breathe you can flex and activate the extended leg here so the leg is not resting but very active on the floor as if you're standing on it one more breath here release and you're going to make yourself comfortable for shavasana let your feet drop to the sides palms of the hands facing up and away from your body don't get all stiff here just let your body really rest it's a pose of complete relaxation soften the fingertips feel your lips softening Tempo softening, forehead softening, belly softening, knees softening. Letting go of the tension in the belly if you have digestive issues or if you tend to hold your tension somewhere in the belly, in the chest, in the throat, in the lips, in the eyes. Exhaling and softening those areas, relaxing. Being aware of your body and consciously bringing relaxation into the different areas of your body. The back, the back of the shoulders are softening, the front of the shoulders, the thighs. The solar plexus area, the ankles. Stay here for a few moments, allowing yourself to be present, to let go of the rush, of the constant rushing and worrying and doing. And allow yourself to just be for a few moments with nothing that you need to do, nothing that you have to do, but just simply allowing yourself to be, to be immersed in the present moment, to be calm, to be joyful, to be joyous, and to be grateful. So either stay here in silent, empty relaxation, or do a gratitude meditation, going through all the things you're grateful for that are in your life, from the smallest to the grand. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste.